So obviously we like going vertical. It's important to what we do in providing solutions for customers. Uh, so we're here today. It's Kevin O'Boyle, Chris Clays, and Rachel Kern. We're the storage nerds who are with you today. And we're talking a lot about vertical space in a kitchen, vertical space above existing kitchen equipment that helps you create that extra storage that you need to make your operation more organized and efficient. Uh, last time we talked about that no, no client ever has enough dry refrigerated or frozen storage, every consultant, every designer ever. We talked about last time a few different methods for getting capacity optimization in your facility. We're going to go deep on one very part of that today, talking about vertical space, and at the end will be a product state, a product line that we're calling docking stations, which are going to provide numeral benefits to your operation in terms of your efficiency and how you store things. Uh, but before we get there, what's the problem? We're going to talk about some something that we're calling, we're calling them space eaters. This is a joke that no one's going to appreciate, but I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, in 1995, Stephen King's book, The Langoliers, was turned into a movie. There was an airplane. They went through a rift in space and time. And when they got there, there were these crazy monsters that drove around and they literally ate space and time. Uh, so just to try to make you remember this, uh, this terrible joke, but the idea is that there are things in your kitchen that literally eat space and it wastes the space that you could be using for productivity. Uh, in most center lines, it's usually two to four tables smashed together in that center prep line, but there's all that vertical space above those prep tables, which isn't available. And there's, there was no planning to use the vertical space to make the operation more organized there. Refrigerated prep tables, wonderful product, but again, there's, there's an opportunity above that equipment to give people the materials that they need to work more effectively. Sheet pan racks. Uh, great for storing prep food, high density. You can get 20 sheet pans of food in one of those racks, but there's always space above those racks in many cases, which is going to waste. Busing carts. Aerosility has numerous busing carts. Where do these things go? We've got a couple of busing cart traffic jams here, and there's and you're paying for this area of your facility, which isn't being utilized as well. Another space here. Any kind of cart, ingredient bins, you know, dunnage racks, we can go on and on with the number of things that are on the ground, but are then wasting vertical space above them. Why, why does this happen? The equipment needs to be ergonomic. The, the equipment is built the way it's supposed to be built. It's at the right height, but there is no overhead component to it. Uh, secondly, people don't plan for a home. They buy these carts and racks, they need them, but where do they belong? What is their, what is their home base? If we don't plan for them to have a home, they end up stuck in the middle of aisleways or others that they don't belong and then they take up space in your kitchen. Uh, lastly, there's not always the ability to wall mount. Um, wall shelving is a common product that helps people take advantage of that vertical space, but in a cooler, in a food truck, on a prep line, you don't have the ability to mount to something, so we need some other way to access that overhead space. So in these examples, right, so because they're trying to optimize ergonomics, but they're, what are they not thinking about? optimization, sub-optimization, in this case, storage, what is the workflow, what does labor need to access, and does everything have its right place where it needs to belong? So just some quick examples of how you might reclaim that lost space. Here you see again areas where the vertical space isn't being utilized, but with shelving designed appropriately, and we'll get into some of these designs later, you're getting all this space back where other things can be go stored in your facility. Another example before after, simple refrigerator, standard refrigerated prep table, single bay, now around it, um, two vertical shelves above it in a housing to give people what they need above that prep station. Same thing, a basic flat prep table. Then again, that same prep table with an overhead unit built into it and storage below to make maximum use of that vertical space in a, in a facility. So this goes back to a lean principle about everything needing a home. The picture on the left, um, for anyone who's ever worked in a manufacturing hub, this is called a tool shadow board. So how do you know when the pliers are missing? The pliers are missing when there's a black space on the board, and so you know that something's not where it's supposed to be. Restaurants could think the same way in 5S. So this is step two, having a place where everything should be. It should be set in order where your stuff should go, and you could think about a kitchen in the same way. Here's Happy Gilmore, not happy with his ball because his ball wouldn't go back to its home or the place that it belongs. But in a kitchen, what does that home look like? 
Uh, everyone has uh, insulated food carriers. Here's an example of Mighty Lights on some dollies that have a proper home where they're stored. Metro wire carts with stainless surfaces showing where they can be stored. So they are set in the right place. They have a place where they belong. <laughs> Comment on social media. Someone said, I forgot how big my kitchen is when it's not crammed with, with prep tables and speed racks. Uh, we hear you and we're here to help. And with that, we're going to talk about some of the right tools for the job, and I will turn it over to Chris Clace. Why don't we just keep rolling? Sure. So I want to talk a little bit about three-sided frames. What are three-sided frames? Well, they're they're very similar to shelves, as in they provide strength and structure. And we use these in areas where we want to create a home or a dock for different different mobile carts or maybe a ingredient bin. They also come in. Uh, a variety of sizes and finishes. We have them chrome and metro seal finishes. You'll, you'll hear an announcement from me next week about that. Another area we use three sided frames are in our can rack configurations. On the left side, you'll see um, storage, two, two shelves with can, our can rack accessories and a little storage area underneath for carts and ingredient. Bin. So here's our here's our can rack accessory and you can see on top on the top left photo we're we're rolling our can into the accessory and on the on the right hand side we're taking a can out this allows for product rotation and we avoid spoilage in this way yeah and, the accessory, and, I'll jump, and i'll just jump in and add chris that you know if you've been in any restaurant that stores there that the cans are heavy they tend to store the cans on the bottom shelf and if you ever look at the expiration dates on those things you'll tend to find ones that are very 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 because once you put something on that bottom shelf and ends up in that back corner it doesn't always find its way out so just a you know, very practical thing for folks to use with the with the can rack accessory here so here's a little a little gif of how the accessory works Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Kev. All right, guys. So now we're going to talk a little bit about docking stations and a few of the new SKUs that are easy order um, that we have set up that are available on AutoQuotes and soon to be available on our website. So the one that's pictured right now on the screen is available in, on both. Um, it's just using regular SES shelving, um, three-sided frames and posts. So that comes when you order that SKU. We're calling them docking stations because they're perfect to be able to dock um, any type of product underneath it and give it a home. So it's less like, likely to be left around um, the cooler walk-in or out in the back of house. And also most of the walk-ins, they, they do already have um, space where one can be added or they're very easy to add into a layout. All right, so now the new SKUs that we have available, um, you'll see them up on the screen now. So there's eight of them and the difference between the eight is just changes in length. So they're all 24 inch depth and then um, they go all the way from 24 inches in length up to 72. Yeah, um, we, we're highlighting a couple of the, the sizes here. The reason why you need so many lengths is because you do want to be able to house different kinds of equipment. Refrigerated prep tables tend to be 27 inches in length for a single wide unit or 48 inches in length for a double wide unit. So you'll want to use a, a 30 inch long unit for one of the, for around one of those single bay refrigerated prep tables. You'll want to use a 54 inch long around a 48 inch uh, double door prep table. Uh, the 48 inch ones will work well for two sheet pan racks. So it's just always figuring out what it is you're trying to put there. And then we're trying to give you the option so you could size everything appropriately in an easy order way. Mm -hmm. So this is a good slide to kind of show what Kevin was just talking about, um, why we need that many SKUs and that many lengths. So you can see for the 24 inch version, it's great for putting something like Mighty Lights under there. Um, that one can even fit one bun pan rack. Um, a refrigerated prep unit is the second image from the left. You could store prep items when they're not in use under them. And another thing to point out is that they do come with adjustable shelving, which is important to have. So. For example, if you look at the unit that has the prep mate stored underneath it, um, you can lower the second shelf down so you're not having any wasted space because it's not fixed. All right. And the next thing using three sided frames are all in one prep station. So there's two new SKUs for these, the difference just being in the depth. So 
the stainless shelf on the left, you can see it comes in 18 by 48. And then the skew on the right, you'll get a 24 by 48 unit. Really important to have a prep station like this where everything's all in one spot. Um, it makes everything a lot more efficient. And the nice thing about these units too is that they do already come with smart wall and smart wall accessories. So there's no need to try to figure out, you know, what somebody needs. Um, it comes with all those already. Yeah, really great units. I mean, you have the option of buying a standard prep table or one of, all, one of these all-in-one prep stations. You're getting overhead storage, you're getting wall shelving, you're getting a prep table all integrated together in one unit and still the option to take advantage of the, of the younger counter storage as well. So a really thoughtful right. unit and how it was designed to help people optimize their space. Mm -hmm. And the benefit too for smart wall, not you won't have to drill into the wall. It attaches to, to the unit itself. All right. This is a new promo that is out right now. It's running through October 30th. Um, it's a buy one, get one deal. So you buy one of those units and you can get a free one of equal or lesser value. And for all of our food truck friends out there, um, there's definitely a lot of use for these types of products in very tight spaces like that. I could say I could argue that every food truck probably needs at least one of these prep stations here and one of these docking stations down here. Um, so some, something to keep in mind. So with that, that's all we got for today. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get this coupon out there so you can get advantage. It's an operator only promo. It is until December 31st. It is buy one, get one. So thank you for that. Um, you can learn more on Metro.com and on AutoQuotes. And please tune in next time for our next webinar, uh, which will be with Rob Kelly Savage and Chris Place again on the recently launched Metro Steel Gray, our new aesthetic uh, shelving solution for the front of house, and a refresher to our smart wall line on some new configurations that are going to make it easier to order and simpler there as well. So thank you very much and hope to see you again next time. I'll move to the Q&A to see what kind of questions we've got.